Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Written by Joe Zoinol, this is a really awesome song for us to learn. It uses all the easy notes on the saxophone. It's in E minor, don't worry about that, but it uses all the um, notes from C major as it happens for us to play. And it was played by a guy called um, Julian Cannonball Adderley, named uh, nickname Cannonball because of his rather large appetite. And I'm going to teach you how to play it. And it's a really, really good song, guys. Have a listen. This will fit along with the original. Here we go. Okay, guys, so here is how to play Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. First of all, if you don't know anything about Cannonball Adderley, then look him up on YouTube. Have a listen to his songs. He's an awesome sax player, and you can't go far wrong by listening and stealing as much of his stuff as possible, because he's absolutely awesome. Okay, um, this uses the notes from um, D to high C with the octave key in. So low D and high C with the octave key at the back. If you don't know how to use the octave key, knit back to my last lesson where I covered this in some detail. Um, it starts off on E with the octave key on. E, D, both with the octave key on. Then down to B without the octave key. B, G, A, G, G. E, G, A. So that whole section. E, D with the octave key, B without, G, A, G, G, E, G, A. And you play that four times. This piece is really in four sections. That section four times, another sec and then um, three more sections which I'll cover shortly. So that first section one more time. E, D, B, G, A, G, G, E, G, A. Moving on to the second section, it's quite funky and you kind of accent every other note. The first um, pair you only accent lightly the second note and the second pair you accent a little bit heavier. So it starts on D with the octave key, D with the octave key, and it's And on the second time through, before you end, you add a D with the octave key at the end. Da da da. So one more time slowly, that's D with the octave key, D, E, E, F, F, E, E, and again. D, D, E, E, F, F, E, E, D. On to the third section. It literally does that on the recording. I know my performance, I put a B in there. I think it sounds good. Sorry. Um, so um, when we do that third section, it's G, G, B, B, C, C, D with the octave key. So G without the octave key, two of those, two Bs without, two Cs without the octave key, and then a D. And then it's up to super high C. C with the octave key at the back. That's going to take a bit of work, that guys, to get that in tune as well. I practice going I'll do a lesson, I've done um, a few tips on how to get that high C out um, effectively. Really it's about raising eyebrows, that's the most, um, most effective way of getting high C out effectively. As soon as you play that high C with your octave key on, raise your eyebrows, you'll find it'll be much more in tune and much like, more likely to play ball. So as you play through this the first time, just get used to that. Get used to that concept that you're going to be jumping up to high C, so... Sorry, even. G, G, B, B, C, C, D. You ready for C? C, there it goes. So really be aware of that when it comes through. So let me play that again without the high C. Blank it. Then it just goes blank, and then we play this last section. Um, when you play with the recording, after you've played this through once, there's actually a keyboard solo in there. If I were you, I'd just play this tune, I'd just cycle through this tune again. Um, just to get used to playing it. So... D, E, G, A, A. One more time with that. Then G, B, B. B, 
D E D E D E. So all the way through that section, you've got D E G A A G B B A B D E D E D E. And on the last time through, if you get to the end of the song around three minutes, he really, really slows that down and. You know, have a good practice at playing along with that, see if you can get used to how much he slows down um, that ending. So the whole, the last section is... Another lip slow on the A there if you notice. Okay guys, let's just go through the whole thing one more time. Try and play along. Third time. Fourth time. Next idea. Okay guys, that's the whole thing. If you noticed I put some um, different volumes in there on my last playthrough, do copy them, especially in that G, G, B, B, C, C, D. It sounds really great when you build that up along the recording. Um, thanks for watching guys. Comment and like below if you, um, if you did. And um, I look forward to reading your comments and join me in the next video. Thanks guys, bye.